We interrupt this program for breaking news. Good evening. Breaking news tonight out of the best genetics research laboratory. Details are still coming in, but we're being told that three insect containment systems have failed at the laboratory and several insects have escaped. We're told 12 cockroaches, 12 flies, and 16 termites are loose. Scientists say they've tracked the insects to a construction site on the best research campus. They tell us these are not your normal insects and that it's imperative that they be returned unharmed to the best genetics research facility. Best officials say they're currently seeking help from the local robotics community to make that happen. Inspiring students to think like engineers. That's been the goal of Kansas Best 13 years running. A project of the Engineering Dean Circle at Wichita State University, Best aims to boost student interest in engineering, science, and technology through an annual robotics competition. I've known about the program for several years now. I've known for years that it was a good program with a lot to offer kids. This year, my principal and superintendent were eager to see us get something started for kids who needed something that they could do that would make them think about things. You know, in our engineering classes, we do a lot of stuff on computers, but we never actually get a chance to build things. Kansas Best gives them a chance to build things. We don't just design it in a CAD program, we actually do it. It really gives them a good insight into engineering. This year's event pitted 29 area teams in a contest to design the most efficient and effective robot for collecting escaped insects and returning them to the best laboratory. Each team had six weeks to design and produce a fully functional robotic control system, complete with technical documentation, a visual exhibit, and an oral presentation highlighting the process. I think it's an amazing opportunity. I mean, how often do you get to work with real live engineers on a project before you even get into college? It provides a lot of experience that I know I'm going to need when I actually get into the real, the, the real world, and it helps solidify some of the concepts that you learn but you never actually use. I did not have an interest in engineering or programming or anything. That's kind of why it was fun to do it, because it wasn't something I would normally have gone for. But once I was in it, it was kind of a party. I don't think most of the kids realize how much science is behind what's going on. When I talk about balancing the arm, I'm really talking about torque and counter torque, which is a physics idea. So they're learning things that I don't think they realize they're learning. It all started with kickoff day. Teams from across the area gathered in Wichita to learn about this year's challenge. There they received game rules and identical parts kits for the robot's construction. When we first started, it was incredibly hectic. We had a box of supplies, a couple of bags of PVC connectors, a whole lot of screws and no idea where to go. And as we started brainstorming ideas, Someone would say something and you'd have an idea from that and then you'd build off of that. It was really fun going through and trying to top each other to see who could actually find the best idea that would suit our robot. Teams were also assigned matters to guide them through the engineering process. Professional engineers who know the value of getting students excited about engineering. Mentors are assigned from various uh, companies around Wichita to come in and work with the students and help them with the engineering process. Once they've worked through a process like this and seen how you can go in six weeks from not just having a, a topic or a theme to building a robot, testing it, and then taking it onto a competition, I think that that may show them that, that this is something they can do. If they can do it at this age, just imagine what they could do once they get into college and they've learned more. One week before the competition, teams gathered at Towney Square for Mall Day. It was the first and only chance teams had to test their robots on an actual playing course before game day. 
The first time we saw our robot actually moving on the floor, I felt like I just had a kid and it was walking. So <laughs> it's pretty magical. Mall days also when teams turn in their project summary notebooks containing technical documentation on how they implemented the engineering process. An accurate comprehensive notebook is essential to success in Kansas Best. We need to have every idea on paper so we'd go around and we'd be like, is that idea on paper? And if they said no, I would be like, write it down. <laughs> They're like, why? And I was like, for the notebook, because we have to have it. We have to have everything included. All of our ideas and everything we need to change. It's a challenge. On game day, teams converged on Coke Arena on the Wichita State University campus. It was a raucous environment filled with excitement, anticipation, and competitive spirit. Probably the funnest part is the actual game day where you get to compete with the other teams. It, it's exactly like a, a sporting event. There's lots of excitement, there's music, horns, and pressure. The day-long event pitted teams against each other for a series of awards and the right to move on to regional competition. The best award is the day's ultimate prize. It's given to the team that most embodies the total concept of the best competition. There are five aspects to the best award. The project summary notebook handed in on mall day. Oral presentations describing the details of each team's robot designs and methods. A table display illustrating each team's best promotional efforts with their school and communities. The overall sportsmanship and school spirit displayed on game day. And finally, how well each robot performs in the competition. Game day is the culmination of six weeks of work by the students, but it wouldn't be possible without a unique collaboration of teachers, mentors, volunteers, and corporate sponsors. This year, over 400 students were exposed to the world of engineering. In the 13th run of the Kansas Best Competition, over 4,000 students have participated. Sponsors say it's an investment in their future workforce. We've had great engineers that are moving on to retirement in other parts in their life and we need to fill those spots and we want to encourage uh, these high school students to want to explore the study of engineering and then come in and, and fill those positions. Really what they're doing, it simulates what we experience every day in the design community and in the real world, where we come with a problem statement or requirements for the aircraft, and then we have to convert that into a design and test of that design and then actual a working model. To devote the six weeks, the 42 days that it takes to, from kickoff to game day is really inspiring to me uh, that people are taking the coursework that they've learned and applying it to a problem in a fun environment and then actually enjoying the competition itself, win, lose, or draw. Uh, the teams are here, they've come from great distances, and they really enjoy the entire theme and, and the competitive environment. After an intense day of competition, four teams advanced to the finals for a three-match playoff. When the dust settled and the scores were tallied, it was the Ambassadors for Christ Academy taking first place in the game day competition, followed by Wichita Northeast Magnet and Wichita Homeschool. The ultimate prize, the best award, went to Wichita Homeschool, followed by Circle High, Campus High, and Rose Hill High School. With the results in, Kansas Best sent six teams to the Frontier Trail's Best Regional in Fort Smith, Arkansas. There, Kansas teams dominated the competition, taking first, second, and third in the robot competition. And the Best Award went to Wichita Homeschool with Circle coming in third. Teachers, though, say the real reward was the experience itself. I've had kids impress me more than I ever realized was going to happen. I have seen creativity out of kids that I didn't imagine had a bone of creativity in them. I've seen ideas come out of kids that completely surprised me. I've been very impressed with what I've seen out of some of these kids. Thanks to all the schools, sponsors, and volunteers that participated in this year's competition. 
and most importantly, the students going above and beyond to become Kansas' best. Look into the lens. Okay. My name is Cameron Peak, Rosso High School. I am Kansas Best. My name is Jack Henry Banka. I'm from Circle High School, and I am Kansas Best. I'm Joshua Ballman. I'm from Mandale High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Cassie Tompkins from Blue Stem High School, and I am Kansas Best. I'm Aaron Parsons from Atchison High School, and I'm Kansas Best. I'm Jason Pryor from Roseville High School, and I am Kansas Best. Hi, I'm Gunnar Johnson. I'm from Wichita Homeschool Warriors, and I am Kansas Best. My name is Michaela Wallace. I'm from Circle High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Nathan Albert. I'm from Mandel High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Michael Merritt. I am from Atchison High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Josh Jones from Rose Hill High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Drake Lister. I'm from Circle High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Reed Troyer, I'm from Andal High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Mary Jane Atkins from Blue Stem High School, and I am Kansas Best. I'm William Wolfenberger, I'm from Wichita Home School, I am Kansas Best. I am David Boyer from Atchison High School, and I am Kansas Best. My name is Andrew Arnold, I'm from Circle High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Seth Gruber, I'm from Andale High School, and I am Kansas Best. I am Dylan Gaskell from Blueston High School, and I am Kansas Best. Is that it? Okay.